Welcome back to the Hollywood Dream Makeup Podcast. I'm your host, Billy Gallo, and today's episode is a shortcut into breaking into Hollywood. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to get into this business. If you listen to this podcast and you do exactly what I tell you, then you will be in the game, okay? It's a process. You want to take baby steps, but you know, first and foremost, you want to figure out, okay, you're you're a product, you're selling a product to Hollywood. What are you selling? You have to know your castability. Okay. If you see yourself playing a cop, you see yourself playing a gangster, you see yourself playing a, a military, a soldier, then you know that's your castability. If you're comedic, if you have the ability to cry, if you you know, whatever your special skills are, if you could do accents, you know, that is your castability. There's only one you. Remember that. So be you. Bring you. That's that's what you're going to sell to Hollywood. You, you know, so don't try to be somebody else. Be you because that's the only thing you have. That's your castability. That's what makes you unique. OK, when I came out to Hollywood, I was told I needed to lose my accent. I needed to do this, that. And I was like, no way. <laughs> I was like, my accent is is who I am. And it's going to get me in the door. And I, you know, I played up the accent at times. And I sold them this New York street kit. I mean, I literally was off the plane. I came out to Hollywood at 18 with 200 bucks in my pocket and won my ticket right off the streets of Brooklyn. And that's what I sold them. I sold them a Brooklyn street kit. And guess what? They bought it. And I was on every hit, you know, hit television series at this time, you know, uh, guest starring on the, on their, the TV show, playing the leader of the gang, the bully, the drug deal, you know, whatever it was, I was playing all the bad guys. You know, that's what got me the foot in the door. That is what got me my SAG card. That's what got me into this business and how I became a professional actor. So in order for you to break into this business, you know, when I came out here to Hollywood, you know, it was a completely different time. You know, it was 1984. Um, there was no social media. There was no, you know, I, if I wanted to make a phone call, I had to go to a pay phone and put some quarters in it. Uh, there was no GPS. I had to have a paper map. You know, um, you know, now with all the technology, you guys have it made. If you want to be an actor, you can be an actor. You don't need to wait for anybody. You know, when I wanted an agent, I had to go door to door in Hollywood and knock on doors and, and bang on a lot of doors. You know, I got a list from the Screen Actors Guild and I knocked on every friggin' door in Hollywood. I went through the A's, the B's, the C's, the, and, I, and I got no's. No, 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 get lost, kid, you know. But I kept banging on the door. I did not take no for an answer. You know, I kept banging until one, one agent at Y, the Yenis Talent Agency, said yes. And that led to my very first audition, and that led from to me booking a guest starring role on a hit TV series at the time called The Fall Guy, which led to me getting Taff Hartley into the Screen Actors Guild. If you don't know what that is, is they the producers pay a penalty for hiring a non-union actor, and then you become uh, a SAG member. You know, I was very blessed. Uh, you know, the stars aligned for me. I mean, the first audition they were looking for a kid named Billy. Uh, who was a bully, who was a, uh, a leader of a gang, who was bullying kids to deal drugs. I mean, so I literally went in there and, you know, uh, I got that part. But how do you do that? You know, now you have this awesome little device in your pocket and you can create whatever it is you want. You can create your own, uh, your own demo reel. You know, back in the day, I had to actually book that job on a fall guy and then I'd have to pull that footage off the television and I would build a, a little bit of a footage of myself acting. But now you can do that right now with your phone instead of, you know, scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or whatever. You just flip the phone. You frame yourself right. You find a piece of material that really shows your castability. Right. And like I said, if you see yourself playing a, a cop, great. Find that monologue. Go online. You type it in, you know, cop monologues. Or you can go to, you know, AI, chat, GBT, and say, write me a monologue about a police officer that is, you know, dealing with blah, blah, blah. And in 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 seconds, you will have a monologue. Then you want to tweak it, make it your own. But, you know, there's no excuses now. You know, you have a writing partner in your back pocket. You can have, you know, AI write you a monologue. Okay? Then you put your heart and your soul into it, and you rewrite it, and you polish it, and you make it your own. But, you know, it's a great way to assist you in finding material if you can't find it. But there's plenty of material out there. All you have to do is go online 
and find whatever it is that you want to see yourself playing. You know, you want a comedic monologue. Great. Find that and work on it and film yourself and, you know, self tape yourself. Okay. And, you know, with today, you know, the business has changed drastically because of the pandemic, you know, everything self tape auditions. So you want to master the self tape because that is how you're going to work. You know, back in the day, casting directors wanted to see your demo reel. But now with self-tapes, you know, if you're just breaking out into the, breaking into the business, you know, they'll, they'll look at a, a self-tape, right? They'll look at that. And if it's strong and you're doing an amazing job and you're showing them the character and you're giving the performance, that a casting director may look at that even more than a, a demo reel because demo reels, you know, they were shot by somebody else. There's a production value, but this, you had to shoot it yourself, right? <clears throat> if I'm an agent and I take you on uh, and I'm putting my name out there representing you, I need to know that you're going to be able to deliver me a product that makes me look good, my agency look good. So, you know, working on your self tapes, I did a whole episode about self tapes. So if you haven't heard that, you want to watch that, uh, that episode. I did a whole episode on the art of the audition. You want to watch that episode. You know, there's gold out there, guys. If you're listening to this podcast, I mean, I have, this is my 89th podcast. Okay, I've had Academy Award winners, Golden Globe winners, Emmy Award winners. I've had agents, managers. I mean, I, they're all, I pick their brain and I'm leaving all this gold behind for you. So scoop it up. Okay, there's a wealth of information. If you don't, if you can't afford classes right now, well, this, you know, podcast is a is a master class in acting because I've, I, I've, I've dropped so much gold here. So, you know, please watch the other episodes. Okay, so once you know how to self-tape and how to frame yourself and light yourself, you can create a piece of footage that really shows your castability, right? You know, you may want to put two or three pieces on it, you know, maybe something dramatic, something comedic, you know, something that screams your castability. And you want to keep it short because now in this day and age with technology, people don't have, uh, you know, their attention span is, you know, it's if you, you got to hit them hard, you know, right out the gate with your best work and you have a minute, two minutes tops to show your talent. And that's all you have to do. And you can create that yourself at home. Okay. So no matter where you live in this world, if you want to be an actor and you don't have any footage of yourself, well, you want to be able to create that and you want to do a good job. You don't want it to look like amateur hour. You don't want it to look, you know, I don't want to see your dirty dishes and your cat crawling around the background. I don't want to see any of that. You want to frame yourself tight and you want to just show me the character. You want to have, you know, a, a plain background or or something that's real. Let's say you're doing, you're playing a lawyer, and you're you're sitting at a desk, and and you frame yourself right. Okay, so you can create pieces of a uh, footage of yourself that you're gonna take, and you're gonna put it on the casting websites. Okay, so if you're new to this business, um, you know, there's LA Casting, casting, uh, casting networks. There's Actors Access. There's a bunch of them. There's Casting Frontier. There's Act um, Backstage. But you know the two big ones that that I would start out with would be Actors Access and LA Casting. And you want to go on that, and you want to create an account, and you want to one get yourself a good headshot. And now you know you don't really have to spend a lot of money if you you know coming out just just starting out. You just want to have a headshot that looks professional. OK, this day and age with with these iPhones and the cameras, you know, the portrait mode. I mean, you literally if you, you can shoot a really good headshot and um, upload it onto one of these casting websites, L.A. Casting, Actors Access and fill out your profile. You know, it's going to ask you all all about you, your sizes, your 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 training, you know, so you want to go in there, your special skills, you want to go in there and you want to be very honest and you want to fill out your, your special skills and all that stuff. You don't want to say you're a black belt in karate when you've never studied karate, because, you know, if I bring you to my room or I, I may ask you, okay, well, you're a black belt. Well, put yourself on tape, show me a, you know, a roundhouse kick. And, you know, if you can't do that, you're a liar and I'm never going to let you in my door again. Okay. So, don't lie about your special skills. Be very truthful. You know, if you have a special skill and you can do a Spanish accent or you can juggle or you're a magician or whatever it may be, you know, you want to put that because those special skills will help you get into the door, right? If you're six foot five and you can't dribble a basketball, shame on you. 
Okay, you need to learn how to dribble a basketball because you will get an audition for uh, a basketball player just based on your height. So whatever your your look is, your castability, your special skills, develop those. Have that piece of footage uh, to to you know submit when if I say I'm looking for um, a sp Spanish speaking actor and you speak Spanish and you have a piece of footage of you speaking Spanish, I'm more likely to send you a self tape audition and uh, you'll put yourself on tape and you'll send it to me and you know you may get a call back. And you may get a Zoom call back and then, you know, you may get that part. And that part will lead to you getting uh, an IMDb credit maybe or a line on your resume, uh, some footage. You know, right now you want to do as much work as possible, even if it's free. You know, if they say copy credit, yeah, do that. Copy credit. Now you have some footage of yourself that has production value because it was a short film or a student film that, you know, it's a passion project for some young kid that was going to become a, a major player in the industry maybe down the road. I mean, I can't tell you how many people I've been in this business for 40 years and I've seen so many people come up. And, you know, some of those people that I work with on a commercial way back when, they're big time feature film directors. Because they have dreams too. They don't want to just do music videos or they don't want to do commercials, but that's their steps to get to where they got to go. So if you work with them down the road, you know, early on, they're going to remember you when they're casting their big projects. Okay. So it's it's pretty simple. I mean, one, figure out your castability, find pieces of material that, that show off that special skill, that talent, film yourself doing it. Cut yourself a little demo reel. I mean, you can do this on iMovie on your phone. It's simple. All you have to do is, you know, put 30 seconds of this character, 30 seconds of the next character, 30 seconds of the other character. You know, you have a two-minute demo reel. You upload it with your headshot, right? Now you have your headshot up there. You have profile up there. You have your special skills, all of that stuff. You know, these are your tools that you're going to be putting yourself out there with. Now, once all that stuff is living on Actors Access LA Casting, you're going to start getting auditions. You're going to get an email saying, hey, there's a role that's right for you. Um, your job right now would be to go to your actor's access and go to your LA casting on a daily basis and be your own agent manager, okay? Because you're not in the Screen Actors Guild, because you know, you're know you a non-union actor, right now there's a writer's strike, there's a SAG strike going on, but that doesn't mean there's plenty of work for non-union actors. You know, and they pay and you can make money doing this. And some projects, you know, will lead to a, another project, will lead to another project. So work leads to work. You want to start doing as much stuff, letting people know that you're an actor. Okay. When I came out to Hollywood, I found out about a thing called breakdowns. Okay. Somebody told me about these breakdowns that were delivered in a manila envelope in front of the agent's office every morning. And on those breakdowns were all the roles that they were casting for television and movies and stuff like that. So you know, I was a street kid from Brooklyn and I found out about them. So what I, what I would do is I'd watch and wait for the delivery guy to drop off the manila envelope in front of the agent's office. And I would steal it. And I would go to Kinko's and I would go make a copy of it. And then I put it back in the envelope and back in front of the door. So they would keep, keep delivering them. And I would sit with the, my copy of the breakdowns and I would play my own agent. And I'd go through the breakdowns and I'd go, okay, this show, Hill Street Blues, they're looking for this character, you know, that's 18 years old, that dark hair, dark eyes, whatever. That's me. And I would submit myself and I would literally call the number on there and say, you know, pretend I was, uh, I, I used to pretend that I was my own manager. My name was Bill Brook, you know, for Brooklyn. And, uh, you know, I would call up and I was relentless in the pursuit of it. Okay. I mean, I, I show up, you know, back in the day when agents would submit their actors headshots, they would have delivery guys with a manila envelope show up to the studio and say, oh, I have a delivery for the casting director. And the guards would let him right through the gate and they would deliver the, the breakdowns and then they would leave. Well, I found out about those delivery guys. So I'd come with my manila envelope, but only had one picture in it, me. And I'd say, I have a delivery for the casting director. And then I'd knock on a door and I'd give her my manila envelope. And then, you know, I would tell them I, I just what I just did and they'd get a kick out of it and they'd read me. So, you know, you don't have to do all that. OK, now with the technology, I mean, in your phone, you can look at the breakdowns and go, oh, this role is right for me. Submit this role is right for me. Submit and you submit the right picture. Right. If if it's you, you're going, it's the uh, the cop role. You don't want to submit your bad guy picture. Right. So when you upload pictures, you want to have, you know, a good selection. Right. You want to have your 
your dramatic picture, maybe a, a, a commercial picture, uh, you know, with a smile on your face, or or maybe something that really shows your castability. And you want to upload load that footage, and, you know, and, and you know if you have uh, you sh actually shot you playing the bad guy or the police officer. So when that submission comes, all you have to do is take your your cop photo and your cop video and submit that. So if I'm looking to cast a cop, and all of a sudden I see your picture and I see a cop, and I go, oh, "That's that looks like a cop to me," and then I click on the little video and go, "Oh, that he, he can act like a cop. Great, let's send him a self tape audition." And that's what you're going to do. And you're going to start auditioning. Now you're going to get no's. You're going to get crickets. You know, you're going to submit yourself to a hundred projects and you're not going to get anything, but that's fine. That means you're in the game. Okay. You know, get some no's. Okay. No's are good. Every no brings you closer to a yes. Go get some no's. It's like me when I first came out knocking on doors, looking for an agent. I got a lot of no's. I could have quit, but failure was not an option. Right. I, I came out with a one way ticket. I did not have a return ticket home. You know, they say you want to take the island, burn the boat. I had no boat back. OK, so I, w I had to get an agent. I didn't know where I was going to live. So, you know, I, I kept banging on the doors. You got to have that kind of attitude. You got to be relentless into the pursuit of this, you know, this dream of yours. You have to go after it with a vengeance and you you're going to get no's. Just know that. But no's are good. OK, I love no's. OK, because I know the very next one, the very next submission, the very next audition could be a yes. And then things change. Okay. And then you're uh, in the business. Okay. So these are the steps, figure out your castability, right? Find pieces of material monologues that really show that film yourself, upload them into a demo reel, a two minute demo reel, put it on LA casting actors access Start submitting yourself, okay? Now, listen, of course you want to work on your craft, okay? You want to be in an acting class. You want to read acting books. You want to read plays, as many plays as possible. You want to read scripts, right? What's your favorite movie? Go Google PDF script of whatever your favorite movie is. There's going to be a script. Print it out, read it from cover to cover. Now you're acting like a real actor. You know, you're, 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 you can become an actor like this if you really go after it and you start putting the work. Now, nobody, you know, nobody can stop you from acting, okay? They, they can, you know, stop you from getting paid to act. But, you know, eventually you're going to start getting paid to act. But you right now you want to do as much of free stuff. You know, if you have some active friends, get together, work on a scene, uh, create your own projects, you know, shoot your own short films, you know, create, 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 create. Don't wait for anybody. The beauty is now you have a little movie studio in your back pocket. You can write, you can edit, you can shoot, you can do whatever you want. You can have your own uh, TV network, YouTube, Vimeo, Instagram, you know, Facebook. I mean, he, he, there's no excuse. If you really want to be an actor, you can become an actor. And, you know, you got to just pay your dues. You just got to put the work in, pay your dues, get yourself out there. Okay. And be prepared because, you know, you're going to get one opportunity. If you, if I, you know, say, okay, I'm sending you a self tape audition and it's crap. Well, guess what? I'm probably not going to bring you back in again. Okay. Because you wasted my time. So, you know, make sure when you deliver, you know, the product, the self tape, that it's the best possible, you know, um, audition possible. You're showing them who the character is. You're frame right. You're lit right. You have the wardrobe of the character. You know, just give them the performance. Don't leave anything to their imagination. Show them the character, okay? They they think they know what they want. You can change their mind by, you know, giving them a performance that they go, oh my God, there's the, there's the character. That's the cop we were looking for, okay? So don't let anything get in your way, especially you, okay? You have to believe it to achieve it. You have to visualize. You have to spend some time seeing yourself already there, Right. If you want to work with Denzel Washington, see you, you visualize yourself on set with Denzel Washington. You know, breathe into that. Right. Write it down. Write write down your action, your goals, your dreams. Okay. When you write it, you invite it into your brain. Okay. And then you got to take massive action. Right. When I wanted to become an actor, I took massive action. I jumped on a plane with two hundred dollars in my pocket, a one way ticket, travel three thousand miles away. Uh, that's massive action. Okay. And luckily for me and my relentless pursuit that I made the dream a reality. I've been blessed. I mean, I really, truly have been blessed. I mean, you know, I'm sitting in my studio. This is not a green screen. This is a real studio. And, you know, all the movie posters on the wall are, are from movies that I've done or, or produced. 
you know, so I've been blessed. I've been on, you know, a hit TV series. I've been in Academy Award winning films, blockbuster films, cult classics, you name it, I've done it. And I'm blessed. If I can make the dream a reality, you can make the dream a reality. So don't let anything stop you. Don't listen to the naysayers. Go after your dreams with a vengeance. Listen to, you know, the pod, every one of these podcasts, share them with your friends, you know, go to the, if you don't like listening to podcasts, go to my YouTube channel inside the Manhattan actor studio with Billy Gallo, subscribe, hit the notification. So, you know, when the new episodes come out, um, speaking of that, you know, I will be taking a little bit of a break, not a complete break, but I'm going to be producing a film and I'm going to have to put all my energy into making this film. So, you know, right now I release, uh, two podcasts a month, you know, every two weeks I, I drop a podcast. I may have to bring it down to one a month, but I have some really cool guests coming your way. So please stay tuned. Uh, be patient while I, I make this film, you know, producer's film. This is for me, it's a dream that, you know, I'm making into a reality right now. Okay. I said, I'm going to write this film and it's written and now I'm in producing mode. So if I can do it, you can do it. Go after your dreams with a vengeance. I'll see you in Hollywood. Take care. Peace.